presidential election. And new tonight, emergency services across the country are struggling with staffing, which could lead to delayed response times. These issues are even more apparent in rural areas where it could take an ambulance more than 15 minutes to arrive. One Heartland community is using a unique approach to combat some of these issues. KTVO's Nick Todorovich explains how Iowa United First Aid helps with response times all over Van Buren County. Van Buren County is one of three Hawkeye State counties to be featured in the Iowa United First Aid pilot program. Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg oversees the program, which he learned about from a similar concept used in Israel. United First Aid gets volunteers to help first responders during medical calls. In the months since the launch of the program, Van Buren County volunteers have assisted in elderly falls, car crashes, and bleeding incidents. They work in concert with the local ambulance. That's one of the things that I want folks to understand is this is not a replacement for our traditional EMS services or the ambulance. You still need that. This is to bridge the gap between the time the emergency happens and when the ambulance can get there. The volunteers have to go through a background check and complete 12 hours of training. They learn basic life-saving skills such as CPR, Stop the Bleed, AED, and Narcan administration. The Iowa United First Aid participants also learn how to use the app associated with the program. So when there's a call, they're ready to go. They are in a position to drop everything and go to that emergency, get there on scene, and help the person until the ambulance can arrive. This program was made possible by the Empower Rural Iowa Initiative, which gave Cass, Calhoun, and Van Buren counties $50,000 each to pilot the program. The state also asked each entity to provide a 50% match. The money goes towards equipment for the volunteers and their training. One of the most encouraging things Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg and Van Buren County Hospital staff noticed was how motivated the volunteers are. We have a few in the program that are already interested in becoming an EMT certified at that EMT level, and so that's kind of what we were hoping to be a catalyst for us to feed our um, first responder and ambulance services in the county. This can be the first small step into serving your community in this way, and it can inspire people to maybe go on and get some additional training uh, and maybe go on to serve on the ambulance crew as an EMT or maybe even as a paramedic. I think that's a great thing because it helps uh, it helps it become like a workforce pipeline for emergency responders. The program is still in its early phases and there are no concrete plans on if it will become a full-time tactic used across the Iowa EMS scene. But everyone involved with the program encourages the volunteers to keep perfecting their craft. Just the continued support um, and involvement. Um, we have a really good, strong group here. Where we you know we're looking to add some more, but we have a really strong, good and strong group of volunteers, and um, we just want to continue to grow that. If you live in Southeast Iowa and are interested in becoming a volunteer, you're urged to contact the Van Buren County Hospital. They will then direct you on how to officially go through the process. Nick Todorovich, KTVO News.